Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're talking about how to connect your Canon T3i to your computer, or really any kind of Canon camera like this to your computer. So you're only going to need two things other than your computer and your camera, and one of those is this USB cord. It's a mini USB on one end and a regular USB on the other. That's how you connect the thing to your computer. And then you also need Canon EOS Utility. It's a piece of software and is available for both Mac and PC. I've got links down below to get both of those things. Um, the USB cord you can get for a couple bucks on Amazon, or you probably have one laying around your house somewhere. And the software, totally free, straight from Canon. You can get it for Mac or PC. So again, if you've got a Canon T3i and are not taking advantage of some of the capabilities that hooking up to your computer can provide, you've got to do it. I'll show you how in just a minute. So let's get started. All right, before we get into it, let me just spend a minute talking to you about the benefits of, of why you'd want to be able to do this in the first place. First, if you want an external monitor and you want to be able to control your camera from a larger screen, you can do that with this software. If you've got your T3i as your studio camera and you're doing a lot of YouTube stuff and you want to be able to autofocus when nobody else is around to help you autofocus, since the camera doesn't do it on its own during video, it's really helpful to use the software. Um, you know, I could be sitting right here, press a button and the camera would autofocus itself and you wouldn't have to move, you wouldn't have to try and stretch and press the shutter button, you wouldn't have to put like a stuffed animal where you're sitting and go and make sure it's on focus on the, the teddy bear or whatever and then get in frame. None of that, it's so much easier with this software and there's some other fun things the software can do as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, you've got your cord, so we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the camera. It's just on the side here, the video out options. And so I'm gonna plug this in right there on the Canon T3i. And then this goes into my computer. And I'm using a Mac today, it works for PC just the same. I actually think it works a little bit better on the PC, but it's, it's fine on both. I just find getting it started on PC is a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera, make sure that there's a USB or a, um, a memory card in the camera, or it won't even turn on um, with the software. So we've got it on. And then we're gonna open up EOS Utility. And I guess first I should show you where to find that thing on the web. So we're gonna open up Google. Okay, so the first thing that pops up, Canon EOS Utility, that's it. Boom, we're there. Scroll down, pick your model of camera. We are in the Rebel line with the T3i. Here it is, T3i, select it there. And then you'll scroll down and you'll notice, hey, I don't, I don't see it. I see, I see EOS Webcam Utility. I don't see EOS, Canon EOS utility. So we've got to go back a little bit. They haven't kind of approved it for Big Sur, Catalina. It's not like on the list of, of approved products that are, that are working. So let's go back to Mojave and see if we can find it there. And you can. So EOS utility 12.14.31C for Mac OS X. That's the one you want to download. It'll come with one or two other pieces of software that you don't need to use. Um, and it'll actually come with two versions of EOS Utility. One is for the newer Canon cameras, but we need EOS Utility 2. It's kind of deceiving. EOS Utility 2 is older than the rebranded EOS Utility. So EOS Utility 2 is the only one that will work with the Canon T3i. So once you've got that installed, all you've got to do is open it up. EOS Utility 2. For whatever reason, it doesn't just start working automatically. I've got my camera on and EOS Utility 2 open, but you see I can't click any of these buttons. So I'll usually turn the camera off, turn it back on, quits the program, I'll open it up again, and boom, you can hear my camera made a sound, and now I can press all these buttons. So I can download images directly from the camera, Really, you never want to do that because the speed at which data can travel on these things is not very fast. It's better luck just taking the memory stick out and plug it in your computer, either directly or with a dongle. And so I, we don't need to worry about that. But the cool stuff is when you click camera settings slash remote shooting. So I've got this open now. This is kind of just a little viewfinder. It shows me a lot of the same settings I can adjust on my camera. Um, and then if I want to see what I'm shooting or what it's facing, I can click view live, sh live view shoot. And so now it's showing me exactly what I can see out of the camera lens. And the lighting in here is not that great, but let's just say for fun, uh, I wanted to set my camera down and uh, we're not gonna be able to get it right on my face. 
Okay, that looks just completely awful, but let's just pretend with me for a second. So you've got your camera set up and you're here. You wanna make sure your face is in focus. Um, so what I gotta do is I go come over here to where it says face detection live mode. When you start yours up, it might be in a different setting, but go ahead and make sure you know, you don't have to click face detection live mode, but when you're trying to get locked into a face, it helps as long as the camera knows where your face is, that's where it's gonna focus. So face detection live mode, I'm gonna just press the on button and it's gonna go ahead and refocus to get tack onto my face. And that's easy. Now, if you've got your camera, you know, a couple feet away from you, there's no easier way to, to refocus the camera um, while you're sitting at the position you want to record than pressing that button. It's so easy. Now, if you want to do something weird like refocus manually, you can do that. Um, and you can set the custom white balance, which is great. You can look at your, your, your mixers here for your colors. Um, you can go in and put an overlay image over, let's say you're trying to just compose your shot perfectly the way, the way it was in a different take. You can put up a still image of a previous shot. Uh, you can also show a grid on the screen. So I've got a three by three grid here. Let me make this bigger for you. So a three by three grid, six by four, I can do a custom grid. So that's nice. Again, not game changing stuff here, but for a camera as old as this is, and it still gets a good you know, quality shot, I think this is fantastic. So we can close out of this. Actually, we'll pull up the live view again and just minimize the full screen. Now you can see over here, if I'm in picture mode, I can just snap and take pictures. If I'm doing a video, I can come down here and click the video start button. And so now it's recording a video. Frame rate's not super fast, as you can see, but it's good enough. It's good enough to know that I'm in frame, that my lighting is fine. Um, with the T3i, you can flip around the, the camera, you know, the viewfinder on the, not the viewfinder, the display on the camera, but sometimes it's nice to just have a bigger monitor. Um, and so you could even do an HDMI out from the Canon T3i to a regular monitor, um, but we're doing it here through through the other digital out option. So here it shows me, you know, time and, and different settings of the camera I can adjust. So while I'm, while I'm actually recording a video, I can go ahead and change the shutter speed. Um, through the computer, I can change the f-stop. Through the computer, I can change the ISO here, and that's about it. But again, if you've asked, how do I get this thing to work with my computer? Super simple, you need that cord, you need e Canon EOS utility, and you're good to go. So that's it, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.